evaluating trigonometric functions with the unit circle. In reference to our unit circle here, we can see that sine theta is equal to y and cosine theta is equal to x. So these coordinates would give us the intersection of the angles in standard position with our unit circle. So if we would like to get sine 30 degrees, we have to refer to the y-coordinate of this point. So therefore, sine 30 degrees is 1 half. If we would like to get cosine of 90 degrees, so in reference to this coordinates, we have the x-coordinate is cosine of theta or cosine 90, so that would be 0. Sine 4 pi over 3 is here at 240 degrees, and the y-coordinate is negative square root of 3 over 2. For cosine 11 pi over 6, X coordinate is square root of 3 over 2. Let's say we would like to get tangent of 30 degrees. So remember, tangent theta is equal to y over x. So in reference to these coordinates, we have x is square root of 3 over 2 and y is 1 half. So to substitute, we can have 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Dividing these fractions, we can have copy the numerator and then get the reciprocal of your denominator. And we have 2 over square root of 3. 2 would be cancelled, giving us 1 over square root of 3. To rationalize, we can multiply square root of 3 over square root of 3. So we have square root of 3 over 3 for tangent 30 degrees. Let's say for cotangent 135 degrees, cotangent is equal to x over y. So in reference to 135, x is negative square root of 2 over 2, and y is square root of 2 over 2. Dividing these fractions, we can have negative 1. Let's say for secant 240 degrees, Secant theta is equal to 1 over x. So for 240 degrees, we have the x-coordinate is negative 1 half. So we would be having 1 over negative 1 half. So I have copied the numerator 1 times the reciprocal of the denominator, and that would be negative 2 over 1. Simplifying, secant 240 degrees is equal to negative 2. Another example, let's say we have cosecant 210 degrees. Cosecant is equal to 1 over y. So we have for 210 degrees, the y coordinate is negative 1 half. So we have 1 over negative 1 half. So I have 1 times the reciprocal of negative 1 half, and that would be negative 2 over 1. And simplifying, Cosecant 210 degrees is equal to negative 2. Let's say for tangent 90 degrees. Tangent is again y over x. y is 1, x is 0. So we have 1 over 0. And this would give us undefined. Let's say for secant 5 pi over 6. Secant theta is equal to 1 over x. 5 pi over 6 is equivalent to 150 degrees. So we need the x coordinate and that would be negative square root of 3 over 2. So to substitute, we have 1 over x is 1 over negative square root of 3 over 2. So we have 1 times the reciprocal of the denominator. And we have negative 2 over square root of 3. To rationalize, we need to multiply this quantity by square root of 3 over square root of 3. And we have secant 5 pi over 6 is equal to negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. Let's say for cosecant 7 pi over 4, 
cosecant is 1 over y. 7 pi over 4 is at 315 degrees. The y coordinate is negative square root of 2 over 2. So I would be having 1 over negative square root of 2 over 2. So copy the numerator and then multiply to the reciprocal of your denominator and that would be negative 2 over square root of 2. So we have negative 2 over square root of 2 and to rationalize, we need to multiply this quantity by square root of 2 over square root of 2. So we have negative 2 square root of 2 over 2 and we can cancel 2 and we can have Secant of 5 pi over 6 is equal to negative square root of 2. Let's say we have cotangent of 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 is here, same as 270 degrees. Cotangent is x over y. So x is 0, y is negative 1. 0 over negative 1 is equal to 0. That is for cotangent 3 pi over 2. Let's say for cosecant 390 degrees. 30 degrees and 390 degrees are coterminal angles. So to get cosecant of 390 degrees, we have 1 over y. So we're going to use the same y coordinate for 30 degrees. So that would be 1 over y is 1 half. And we have 1 times the reciprocal of the denominator, that's 2 over 1. To simplify, we have cosecant 390 degrees is equal to 2. Let's say for tangent 510 degrees. 510 degrees and 150 degrees are coterminal angles. So that would be 360 plus 150, it would give us 510 degrees. Tangent is y over x, so we need to get the x-coordinate and y-coordinate of 150 degrees. So we have 1 half over the negative square root of 3 over 2. And we have 1 half times the reciprocal of the denominator, and that would be negative 2 over square root of 3. 2 would be cancelled, and we have negative 1 over square root of 3. And to rationalize, we have to multiply this quantity by square root of 3 over square root of 3. And this would give us tangent of 510 degrees is equal to negative square root of 3 over 3. Let's say for cotangent negative 60 degrees. So this would give us an angle in clockwise rotation. So from 0 degrees, it would give us the same as 300 degrees. Because 300 degrees and negative 60 degrees are co-terminal angles. So for cotangent, we have x over y. So we're going to use 1 half over negative square root of 3 over 2. So that would be 1 half times the reciprocal of the denominator. 2 would be cancelled, giving us negative 1 over square root of 3. To rationalize, we have square root of 3 over square root of 3. And to simplify, we have negative square root of 3 over 3 for a cotangent of negative 60 degrees.